How's that? Oh. We going? Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, hey everyone. Uh, episode 14, week 16 of our little beekeeping experiments. Yes, it's been four months. The bees are alive. Some would even say thriving. Well, Anthony says. I say thriving. But, um, we're still here. So, after two weeks of messing around, we got them to finally build on the empty frames up top. That's from last week. You can see that video up here or linked down below. Um, the foundation less frames look pretty awesome. And today we're going to go in there again uh, to check them and see if they kept building. Um, looks like we're going to go into winter with a big, strong hive with, you know, a lot of bees, no mites, no beetles. Um, so considering that our queen died immediately and we started in May, I think we're doing pretty well. Um, this week, uh, we're going to unequivocally find the queen. If it takes us an hour to do it, we're going to do it. We're going to mark her, right? Yep. And then we're going to move some frames around um, to make room um, and maybe take some of the old scuzzy frames out and put new foundation and then we'll see what's in there. Um, with that, we'll get started. So, I think we made syrup that was a little too thick last week. We have a lot of sugar and it's not mixed up. But this week we'll thin it down a little bit again. Let's see what's going on. This one they started building on too. Not that much, but a little bit. They've expanded on this one and started filling it out with nectar, but not that much. This one was one of the foundation full ones and it's filled with brood. Oh no, this is a foundationless one. Oh no, this one had foundation. Filled with brood on both sides. This was one of the completely foundationless ones. And look how full it is. The smoke is. This could be a place where we'd find the queen. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, she, there, she's laying in this one, and there's a whole bunch of brand new larvae and stuff. This is one of the foundationless ones too. Can you believe that they built these out like this? Yeah, it's crazy. No brood in here, I don't think she'll be on here. No brood on this one, only nectar. And they started building on this more, but not that much. And the other two are still empty. So basically, since last week, they built up the two that were already, that they had already started building on. And they laid a whole bunch of brood in them but haven't built the empty, empty ones. So what I'm gonna do, what we might do this week is move a couple more down. We'll see how they're doing below. Are we sure the queen, that we didn't just miss her? We could have, but we'll look at this frame, or this box afterwards again. All right. Wow. 
look at how many bees we have. Okay, so this one. Oh, look, they're just filling with nectar. Just good. There's a group of them right there. Yeah, but there's no brood on here, so she wouldn't be on here no matter what. Okay. Okay, this one had brood in it, but they're now filling it with nectar, which is what they're supposed to be doing with the outer frames. Mm -hmm. Had brood on it, but filling with nectar. And she isn't laying in this, so she nope. wouldn't be here. Brood. Oh, tons of brood. Okay, but this is all completely filled brood, so she wouldn't be here, but she might be close. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Is that supposed to happen? Well, no, it's not, but you're, it's because they haven't braced the bottom yet on it. So. Is that the foundationless one? Yeah. Oh, gotcha. She's down between these two frames. Okay. Do you see her? Not really. Oh, see her? Where? Bottom corner. Wait, wait, she's coming to my side. Okay, so she's right here. She might be on your side again. She's definitely on here now. Well, no, because she won't jump off. What she's gonna try to do is get out of the sun. Up, oh, but nope. Not at the sun. You got her. Yes! Queen captured. Queen captured. Now, what's not right nope. over here? We'll put the frame for the hive back together and we can mark her. I'm thinking they get angry that their queen is trapped in this thing. Nope. Job, Brian. All right, Travis. What if we accidentally let her out? getting before and after. So this it's is how we light. see her before. So 
put the plunger in. Very delicate. Okay, where's my pen is over there. So the queen is pressed up against there. I'm sure she's loving this. Well, I'm not going to press her until... There we go. She's got a little mark. Look at that. Much easier to spot her next time. Much, much easier. Okay, so we'll leave her in here for five minutes um, so that she can, uh, so the paint dries, and then we'll re-release her into the, to the, to the hive. To the hive. Make some sugar water, rinse this thing off. Yeah. Time to release the queen back into the hive. So we'll just put her right there and watch her go. Boom. And that's how marking a queen is done. And we succeeded. <laughs> That's awesome. Brian Got a little bit of paint out. up here. I'm ecstatic about having marked her. The bees are a little more stored up than usual, but... No stings. No not, stings. Knock on wood. Yeah. Uh, do you want to put some smoke over top of that? Or? Okay, so a couple questions. How did they build? They didn't do that much this week. They built a little bit more. They did a lot of uh, laying into the new comb, which is good. Um, we wanted that. Um, the feeding went, last week's feeding went like crap. We need to mix the two to one sugar better because we had a lot of candy left and no real liquid. So this week we made it a little bit more liquidy. The queen is doing well. What would you say, Travis? Yeah, I'd say she was, looks healthy and uh, the, the hives continuing to grow pretty quickly. So. Yeah, and did we mark her? Yes, yes we yeah. marked her. Um, that was awesome. So sweet to see her in real life, and now having her marked in yellow should be easier to find. Um, so if you like this video, make sure you like, like it, it down below. Like, like, comment. Um, please subscribe up here and watch the last videos over here so that you get to get caught up. I'm gonna put the first video from when the bee died in this uh in the box over here because that's worth watching when the bee died thanks see you guys